folks all right so welcome back and this is just another video i'm uploading along with the uh, i've done i've just done uh, engine coolant flush and now we're gonna do the engine oil flush now uh, a lot of people have been asking me uh, whether to use it or not well i suggest you go for it but remember uh, a lot of people don't know how much quantity to use or how to use or for what time you are gonna let the engine run so I'm gonna uh, make it pretty straightforward. Uh, there are a lot of people and a lot of mechanics out there who don't know how much quantity to use and for how long you have to let the engine run. Now this engine flush is basically a detergent which you mix up with the engine oil uh, right before you're about to change, uh, replace the engine oil of your car or your motorcycle. Now this engine flush has to be used in 5% quantity only. 5% which basically means is uh, you put 5% quantity of your engine oil capacity. For example, my car over here takes like approximately 5 liters of engine oil. So I will pour like a 250 ml of this engine oil flush. Alright, uh, so in my bike, this takes like uh, 2 liters of engine oil approximately. So in this bike, I'm going to use only like uh, uh, 100 ml of this uh, engine oil flush. You can go for any brand you like, I uh, because in my area, Abro brand was available. You can go for Liquimoly or STP, whatever brand you like. But just remember, if it says 3 minutes, you let the engine run for 3 minutes only. If it says 5 minutes, then 5 minutes only. Do not overrun the engine. Now, uh, it says pretty much over here, do not drive the car, do not rev the engine. So that's pretty much we're going to do. I had a friend of mine, uh, he poured entire bottle of this Abro oil flush in his uh, KTM uh, Duke 250 and he went for a run. So after 50 kilometers of riding, his engine seized up completely. The piston rings and the cylinder walls like uh, welded together. So we had to crack open the piston and uh, tear apart the engine block to get the uh, piston out. So make sure not to repeat that same mistake. It says three minutes, so three minutes it is. We're gonna mix this up with the old engine oil. We're gonna pour in inside this cap so we're gonna use like my car takes like uh, five liters of engine oil so we're gonna pour 250 ml this is a 300 ml bottle it says on the bottom of it so and we're gonna let the engine run for three minutes only we're gonna put a stopwatch and we're not gonna rave we're not gonna drive remember that so do not repeat the same mistakes as my friend and then we're gonna talk about this another product called oil treatment these oil treatments they are uh, like uh, kind of sort of they help the engine oil uh, stick properly to the uh, uh, bearings and uh, various uh, lubricating parts so i suggest you go for it the recommended quantity is five to ten percent depending upon your engine life five percent means uh, i probably i'm gonna use ten percent ten percent which means my car takes like uh, five liters of engine oil so i'm gonna put 500 ml of this oil treatment i've got another bottle sitting over here so i'm gonna pour this entire bottle in my car and from this bottle I'm gonna take only 200 ml so that makes up 500 ml so 10% only uh, 5 to 10% depending upon your uh, engine life so it's an awesome product I suggest go for it even if your car is brand new I suggest at least put 5% of this uh, Abro oil treatment or STP or liquid Moly, whatever brand you like or available and uh, let's get to the bike this bike takes like uh, Two liters of engine oil so i suggest you put like 200 ml of this uh, oil treatment nothing more nothing less so uh, it's an awesome product and uh, here are the engine oils i'm using i'm using shell helix ultra 5w40 fully synthetic motor oil for my car and uh, for my bike i have switched to castrol power ultimate 10w50 fully synthetic castrol engine oil now they pretty much say that uh, if you don't feel the difference in performance after the engine oil change we'll give you your money back well that's a uh, that's a kind of uh, confident uh, commitment. So I've switched to, you can use Motul as well. Both of them are great. Actually, I I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I haven't felt any difference between Motul or Castrol. So it's just, uh, this uh, bottle was uh, available in my area. I got it for uh, 600 rupees only. It was an offer. So I got two bottles. One is sitting over there. So my bike approximately takes like 1.8 liters or 1.9 liters because I let the engine oil drain overnight. I leave the drain bolts open up and I'm gonna, uh, I always let the engine oil drain out uh, drop by drop. So in that uh, manner, the old engine oil drains out completely. Uh, I always do the same with my car. Whenever I use this uh, engine oil flush along with the engine oil and uh, what I do is I like to keep the drain bolt uh, open up for like two hours at least because that helps the old engine oil drain out completely. Then I put new engine oil. 
All right, so just an update. I'm underneath the car and it's been 45 minutes since I left uh, the uh, drain bolt open up and you can see the engine oil is still dripping down. I mean, what mechanics usually do is they uh, put this drain bolt back on immediately and start putting the new engine oil. So I suggest you do not do that. I mean, you can see, let me just get a better angle. You can see it is still dripping down. I mean, if you let it drip down, it's going to spit out more than 500 ml. So I suggest you wait at least two hours. You can see. I mean, it's not only just drop by drop, it's spitting out continuously. There's a continuous line. So, um, let me get over it. You leave the cap open so that the air can get inside the system. So, let it drain out. Let the engine oil drain out. Meanwhile, you go ahead and change your oil filter, your air filter, your uh, uh, diesel filter. Uh, while you're changing your diesel filter, uh, make sure to uh, put some uh, injector cleaner inside and let it soak so that way it can go directly to the injectors. And while you do that, make sure you have at least uh, 30 liters of uh, diesel inside your uh, fuel tank. Now, I've also replaced this uh, crank breather. I will do a separate video on what this crank breather are, what uh, engine blow by is, and uh, what are oil catch cans. I will cover another video. So, for now, this is just it. Uh, leave the cap open. Let the uh, uh, engine oil drain out completely meanwhile go ahead service and other things like uh, you know you can clean the throttle body uh, you can uh, top up the engine coolant or range uh, brake fluids everything so two hours and I like to add 10% uh, of this uh, oil treatment along with my engine oil new engine oil only okay so this pretty much covers up the engine oil and uh, I'm sorry I'm not gonna be able to shoot the video because uh, 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 because I have already made up a video regarding the bike service but for the car I don't have the hydraulic lifts or anything I have this uh, jack and uh, I'm a, uh, because I have to get underneath the car for the drain boards it's kind of tedious process to shoot the video so here's just a, a, a brief it was about um, a lot of people has asking me on Instagram and uh, Facebook messages okay, what is, uh, why did you uh, uh, not recommending the engine oil flush because a lot of mechanics and uh, people they don't know how to use it or what quantity to use it so five percent only nothing more all right of the engine flush and five to ten percent of oil treatment after uh, with the new engine oil uh, depending upon your engine life i suggest at least put five percent of this it doesn't matter because a lot of mechanics are gonna tell you dude you're already putting a fully synthetic this uh, expensive engine oils you don't need to put any oil treatment in this well you can go at least 5% of oil treatment. You can mix 5% at least because it helps uh, run your engine smooth. It uh, prevents any kind of engine knocking or connecting rods. Uh, you might have heard uh, diesel engines have this lot of uh, like connecting rod uh, problems. So put at least 5% uh, of engine oil treatment along with your new engine oil because it helps uh, stick the engine oil better to the engine parts. And uh, while we're on the subject of uh, these uh, oil additives and uh, oil treatments, uh, I want to talk about this uh, fuel injector cleaner. Uh, it's an awesome product. Uh, doesn't matter which brand, STB, Liquimoly or Abro, uh, go for it. Because uh, uh, let me show you uh, what happens. I'm going to take out the spark plug. And... Uh, I've got this uh, endoscopic camera. I'm gonna stick it inside the cylinder. I'm gonna show you the condition of the piston. So uh, this is actually a fuel injector cleaner, but uh, it's going to clean anything that's gonna come in contact with this product. Uh, it's gonna clean your piston, your uh, any sludge built around the uh, intake or exhaust valves. And it's also gonna clean your catalytic converters and any carbon deposits in the combustion chamber. So uh, it's gonna clean your entire exhaust pipe. So I suggest go for it every single time you service your motorcycle. Uh, put this entire bottle in a fuel, uh, uh, full gas tank. So I'm gonna show you, uh, let me just stick up this camera inside the cylinder. Alright, so I have... Uh, attached let me clean the lens of this camera and uh, here's our motorcycle you can see so I'm gonna insert this right where the spark plug goes uh, we're going in we're gonna try to see okay so there's the piston 
I'm gonna try to bring it on the top dead center you can see there's a lot of carbon deposit so like I said before this fuel injector cleaner you know it not only cleans the fuel injector but it's also gonna clean this deposit I have seen the results before let me bring it all the way down and it's going up again and it's down so I'm gonna see the condition of the cylinder walls that's gonna be hard I'm gonna try to stick it through the wall pockets okay so like I said before this fuel injector cleaner you know it not only cleans uh, the fuel injectors but it also takes care of this uh, carbon sludge built around in the combustion chamber and right so there was the camera I'm gonna take it out so uh, this was probably it and uh, and uh, uh, while we're at it uh, let's also talk about this uh, octane boosters and uh, this is only recommended if your uh, town doesn't have an uh, premium or extra premium power or speed uh, uh, gas stations so this basically it's recommended for only the vehicles only for petrol vehicles having compression ratio more than 10 ratio 1 like my KTM over here uh, this one originally had uh, compression ratio of 12.6 ratio 1 so uh, now that I'm running a thin head gasket so the compression ratio has increased even further so I need 95 octane fuel for this motorcycle now uh, if you are uh, going for uh, like normal 87 octane fuel then I recommend adding only 0.5% of this octane booster in full gas tank. Now this KTM takes like uh, approximately 9, uh, 9 liters of uh, uh, fuel. So I add like uh, a 50 ml of this octane booster if only I am running uh, uh, 87 octane fuel. Now if you are already putting like extra premium or 93 or 95 or 91 octane fuel then you don't need this octane booster. It's only if, uh, uh, if you are on a long ride and uh, you have to make a sudden stop at a gas station which does not have a premium fuel. Now uh, uh, this product is not recommended for uh, petrol vehicles that have compression ratio less than 10 ratio 1 like uh, this uh, mom's TVS Jupiter and uh, that uh, Wagner over there. So these does not need premium or extra premium or power speed petrol because if you put premium uh, uh, high octane fuels in this uh, 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 scooters they are going to have a negative effect on both the performance and the mileage alright and it's going to emit even more hydrocarbons and create more pollution. So do not uh, use uh, extra premium or high octane fuels in uh, uh, vehicles that have compression ratio less than 10 ratio 1 so it's only recommended for uh, high end vehicles so which have compression ratio of 11 ratio 1 12 ratio 1 13 ratio 1 in one super bikes that have a compression ratio of 15 ratio 1 so i suggest you go for it only if you are uh, uh, running a normal uh, 87 or 89 octane fuel and uh, be, uh, this is recommended in a quantity of 0.5 percent so approximately i put like 50 ml every single time i go for a normal fuel so if I put extra premium or speed uh, fuel so I don't need this uh, for uh, uh, high octane fuels. So remember that next time you buy these products this is I like to keep it in the backpack when uh, during long rides because uh, you never know you might need one of these. So basically what it does is it uh, boosts it increases the octane level of the fuel. You know uh, 87 or 89 octane fuel it's gonna pre-detonate or pre-ignite. So uh, what pre-detonation basically is that uh, the fuel ignites uh, before the piston hits the top dead center. So be even before the spark goes off. So that puts a tremendous load on connecting rod. So make sure to put only premium or extra premium uh, fuels in these motorcycles and uh, if you do not if your town does not have a uh, fuel gas station that has uh, these high octane fuels then I suggest you go for it and uh, remember not to put these octane boosters or uh, premium fuels in uh, uh, vehicles that have compression ratio less than 10 ratio 1 because uh, you'll be burning just extra f extra fuel and uh, it's gonna have a negative impact on your performance and mileage now uh, just to prevent the pre-detonation and pre-knocking or uh, pre-ignition in the uh, vehicles that have compression ratio more than 10 ratio 1 I suggest you go for it. 
so that was all about engine flush and engine oil treatment so make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i hope you like this video i'm not gonna be able to uh, uh, uh capture the entire uh, process on the camera because uh, you know i'm gonna have to get underneath the car and all that bike it was easy it was but uh, uh so this was probably all about uh, oil flush and oil treatment so make sure to like this video thank you for watching this video guys goodbye